Shelley, we obtained the video through a right to know request. A judge ordered that the more graphic part of the footage be edited out, but we want to warn you, some viewers may still find some of the images disturbing. The Attorney General's office released four videos, three from body cameras and one from dash cam. This is what two Haverhill police officers saw when they approached Hagee Eston Lennon more than two months ago in Bath. Put the light down and stop! Stop where you are! Put the light down! Investigators say the 42 year old was already bleeding from a previous self inflicted wound. Drop the knife! I will shoot you! Drop the knife! No, go. Greg, leave it! Leave it! Friday, the Attorney General's office released four videos of the deadly encounter, which show police and first responders consoling the officers who shot Esty Lennon. Are you okay? Look at me. Are you okay? Physically, yeah. 18 years I wear that uniform. I pray to God I never had to do what you just did. What I want to do is, uh, I want to open up just this breakdown lane. After the shooting, no, police fine. secured the scene. And collected evidence. The AG's office said deadly force was justified. Every decision that those officers made was clearly justified on the video. Attorney Mark Howard has handled several cases involving body and dash cam video. He says SD Lennon was clearly armed and refused officers' commands. SD Lennon, he starts to duck, put his head down, and that's a, in my estimation, that's a clear indication that he's starting to accelerate toward the officers so they have even less time to respond. Esty Lennon's ex-wife and the mother of his two young children filed two motions with the New Hampshire Supreme Court to delay the release of the videos. She said the footage is harmful to her kids. Both motions were denied. Her attorney told News 9 she was devastated by the videos being made public. The first officer who approached Esty Lennon was originally holding a taser. The second officer came in with his gun drawn and told the other officer to also draw his gun. Attorney Howard says that was because Esty Lennon posed an immediate threat with his knife. Reporting live, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.